loves it's me again Jen welcome back to my channel if you are new here welcome today nandito na naman ang aking asawa Parker yan si Parker so ngayon <laughs> ngayon i-share namin yung aming love story mostly siya lang magsasalita it's our both side pero mostly siguro siya lang yung mag-explain ayun let's start an hour story 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 <laughs> so we met in a dating app called tinder march 2017 then we started talking after that sa snapchat then tapos no, pagkatapos nun guys hindi kami nagmeet agad kasi nga may parang lagi siyang may gagawin or may Pupuntahan, oh. like that. I always know? bailed. Yeah. She was too always far bailing. away. She was a two hour drive. Come on, people. So, Who drives two hours to go see somebody? Mm, we're from Utah. Ogden ako nakatira. Then siya sa Harriman. So basically, two hours. Ayo niya mag drive. First When meeting. When I finally drove two hours <laughs> to come see her on our first date after a year. Tell him what happened. So, I am late, an hour late. <laughs> an hour he was, late. He was outside of my house for an hour. <laughs> so, ayun, late ako, no one hour. He was pissed at me. It wasn't pissed. No, it was pretty bad. Yeah, you're mad, you're pissed. Then we went to a Japanese restaurant. And in order, mo? Uh, we ordered some rolls and then. Sushi rolls trying to and some sashimi that he's trying a whole platter of sashimi. It was like a twenty-five dollar plate. I don't like sashimi. I was trying to impress her because I thought she likes sashimi. Did she eat anything? No. I didn't really because I was full. Because remember, I was eating. with my friends, but we didn't really eat. We ate appetizers, maybe. I can't remember. No. But she doesn't eat that much, so she was yeah. already full before we went out. Mm -hmm. Not a good way to start a date. Yeah. First date, it was a fail. And I knew it because I could smell it off of her when she got in the car. Mm -hmm. I'm not really... I didn't really drink. I maybe had... It wasn't a like drink. I could smell the food, too. One, one glass of wine. It smelled like shrimp tacos. One glass of red wine. Shrimp tacos! You never told me that! I didn't eat tacos. I still remember to this day. Hey. You smelled like shrimp tacos. I never eat Mexican <laughs> food, remember? So you're lying. He's I lying. definitely smell the alcohol because I don't drink, so. Yeah. When someone drinks, drink, I, can smell. I drink, but like mild. I, I drink uh, wine, red wine that time because it's good for your health and for your heart. Okay. <laughs> Whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> then? And then what happened next? I can't remember. Um, I can't really remember what we talked about on that date. But he we talked, talked about the regular stuff. But he talked to me in Tagalog. I was trying he to impress like, her by speaking Tagalog and it wasn't mm -hmm. working. Because I was nervous, so I wasn't speak speaking. Tagalog. I wasn't directional. Yeah, it wasn't fluent. Pero Plus, was I, wasn't really sure, I wasn't really sure how much English you spoke either. <laughs> so, I knew Tagalog, so I was like, ha, gotcha. I should have let him talk to Tagalog. She was just too shy. That's what yeah, it was. I was too shy. Remember, I'm always shy every time I have like first meeting to a person, so I don't really talk that much. No. Is it really? Uh, ano ay baby yung about sa LDS about oh, marriage? Marriage. That yeah. was my first question. You asked me about that pretty soon. Mhm. Mm I did ask that on the first day. Because I don't want to waste my time. Wow. <laughs> I have few mores in the list. Kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I got stories about that too. So what did you do after that? So did we, uh, we go, went... Did you go to your house to make out or anything? No, didn't. I am, I'm I was so too pissed. I I'm so her conservative. Off and I <laughs> I'm too conservative. You that were we conservative. Went, yeah. Before, before I met you. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie. So we went straight. He 
dropped me off to my house, to my place. I think I just gave her a hug or something. Um, yeah, he did. I walked her to the door. Mm -hmm. And then after that few days, we had our second date. Yeah. We did have a second date and... I didn't really expect it either. Yeah, I we didn't just talking expect a lot. it either. After too. that night, we were talking a lot on mm -hmm. Snapchat. I think we were still talking. Yeah. Even well, even though he was pissed, he still messaged me. I think he likes me was right away. Oh, that was what Then after the second date, that's when it just took off. Yeah. Uh, we both did something that was just kind of crazy. It's so crazy, guys. <laughs> after our second date. After our first date. Oh, after our first date, uh, we. Did I ask you or you asked me? We were just talking about it. Yeah. About going to LA. Ah, uh, kasi hindi pa kami both nakarating ng LA, so we, I was like jokingly asking him if he wants to go with me, and he said yes. And I was like, is this guy serious? I was thinking about that, and I was like trying to find an Airbnb right away. <laughs> I thought she was joking, so I was joking. I was like, yeah, sure, why and not? I said it to him, and then he was like, and and you said yes right away. Yeah, you did. You like, did. You, let's you go. did said yes. <laughs> yeah, you said let's go. So I was like, wow, he's really serious. And then I re after that, I booked the Airbnb right away, and we had three days, three days in for LA trip mm -hmm. after our first date. That was so crazy, guys. Don't ever do that. You you will not you will. She had no idea who I was. Yeah, I don't have any idea. Just and that one day, and we talked a little bit. And it's not safe. It's not safe. But for me, I think I have like the gut feeling that he's a nice person. Yeah, you know why? Because she told me. We're not. Because I told her I'm not paying for separate rooms. Mm hmm And she's like, "That's okay." I was like, "Well, that means there's only gonna be one bed." She's like, "That's that's fine, but no funny business." <laughs> I did, I did said that <laughs> straight to him. I was like, oh, you don't have to worry about that with me. Mm -hmm. I ain't that So type. he did respect that. Tapos, ano nangyari pa? Well, our first day was what? Wednesday? And we so went to March, March 25th is our first meeting. Tapos, March 28th. That? See, I remembered everything. <laughs> March 28th when we went to LA until April 2. So three days after we met. Yeah, true. Officially, days after. we went to an LA But we've trip been talking together. for a year, remember that day? So I remember thinking that uh, the 10 hour drive from Utah to LA, I remember thinking that it'd be a make it or break it moment because that's a 10 hour drive. So that's a lot mm -hmm. of time to get to know somebody, talk about things, yeah, even right. though she slept most of the time. I did. But I we did. stopped in Vegas, didn't we? Or was that the second time? Oh, uh, well, we stopped at Vegas. To eat like Jollibee because I've been craving for Jollibee mm -hmm. and Chow King. We did stop there. Tapos diretso na tayo ng LA. So our first night, we we've, we've met my friends in LA because they live there, and we went to a club. <laughs> what happened to the club? <laughs> what happened to the club? It's it's so embarrassing. <laughs> it's your punishment. I get to tell the story. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so forever. so our first night we went to a club so i got few drinks with your friends with my friends yeah because i was I thought, her date mm -hmm. i thought their one shot of glass is the same with a one shot of glass here in utah but i didn't realize it's twice as much so i <laughs> You what? <laughs> so I got drunk right away with total of six shots of tequila plus six, six by five, four, three. three plus three. You know why cocktail. I know? Because I was sitting there watching the whole thing happen, pissed. <laughs> galit na galit siya, guys. <laughs> and then, like, so ako, na parang like, pass out na din ako. She couldn't even stand. I had, I to, carry, yeah, I I had to carry her out of the bar. I was dead. I was really dead that so, night. Listen, guys, here's the situation. She's not telling you all the details. Because <laughs> when you see how pissed I am, you got to understand why I'm so upset. I just drove 10 hours with this woman to take her to L.A. on some spontaneous love trip. 
you know, which I thought was kind of cool, a love story seeing the movies. We just did it spontaneously. I didn't tell my parents. I told my parents I was hanging out with friends in L.A. because they would have thrown a fit. Mm -hmm. And we just went. And went to the club. She's just doing her thing, drinking, dancing with her friends. Like, I'm not even there. I mean, she would dance with me a little bit, but when she was gone, she was gone. Because I didn't realize, guys. Because... Every time we drink here in Utah for six shots of tequila, six shots I'm still of okay. I'm 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 tipsy, but not like drunk. I'm gonna that pass out. Seems like a lot out. to me, but I've never six shots. I don't it's drink, not, so because I drink sometimes, uh, occasionally. The we're having fun because I met we're my. Fun. I was having fun too. It was yeah. it was fun. Her, her friends are cool. Yeah, we met my friends. I haven't seen them for like four or five years, so... They're Filipino. Yeah, well. they're Filipino. They're cl what, classmates? You guys are classmates? Uh, we're not classmates, or schoolmates. Anyways, so by the time the night ends, they ring the last call. Jen is like in the bathroom. I'm hanging out with her friends, and I'm just pissed because I feel like her babysitter. I'm like helping her not fall over. She's getting all sloppy, like... Ugh. You know, and being how drunk people be. And at the time, you know, I wasn't used to being around drunk people all the time. So I didn't really realize that's just how it is. You know, this drunk people are drunk people, whatever. Mm -hmm. They have fun. So I just got super pissed because I felt like a babysitter, especially when I had to carry you out of the club. That was the worst. Well, it wasn't the worst. The worst is about to happen. But it was just embarrassing for me. Like, I was her date. I drove her all the way down here. And she does that to me. Like, I was, I was livid. I was pretty pissed. And I was like, okay, this. And funny enough, at the time, I had a pretty strict standard that I just don't date women that drink because of this reason. You know, just getting crazy like that. And so we carry her outside the bar. Some drunk dude thought I was, like, drugged her and was going to take her home, was trying to fight me. And I almost got in a fight, but her friends were like, no, 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 that's her date. It's cool. <laughs> like, thank goodness <laughs> he was there. They're like literally pulling, like, get off of her, man. And like security was coming up. So then after that, we're at the, I don't know what you call it, like an Uber place. We're waiting for, uh, we're, I didn't drink, so I was going to be the driver. Everyone else drank, so I was going to drive her friend's car. So we're waiting for his car. I'm holding Jens to my left. I'm holding Jen's right arm with my right arm, and I'm holding, uh, like, her back. You I'm just can't holding see, her up. You can't see it. Ah, Can you move okay. it here? I'm basically just holding her up, but I got my arm, grabbing her arm, because she's just doing one of these. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, out of nowhere, just, <laughs> just threw up. I did. All I did, over guys. me. It's so like, embarrassing. I was holding like, her, and if I let go... She would have just hit the ground. So I, I just held her as she just threw up all over my arm, my shirt, my legs, and all into my shoes. Like my shoes were full of her throw up. And so every time we discuss <laughs> this or every time we talk about it, it's just funny now. But before it it's so now. embarrassing. Yeah. Uh, especially your friend. Her friend was super funny. He was like yelling at her, <laughs> uh, getting mad. And he was nice. He... Just grabbing stuff out of his car and cleaning me up. Mm, I'll put the LA trip here. Yeah, it's... <laughs> but that happened and I was done. I was done. I was like, relationship over. This isn't happening. After she threw up, she was just passed out. Mm -hmm. and it was about a 45 minute drive just to her friend's house to get my car. And then it was probably a 20 minute drive to our Airbnb from his house. So the whole time I'm sitting in the back with her, throw up all over her hair and her dress, and I'm just pissed because she stinks. And then, it you know, her like friend's like, Parker, it's okay, you know, it happens because they know I don't drink. So, and then what happened? Good thing he doesn't drink. Yeah, good thing, right? Yeah. Because I'm the responsible one. Who's I just never drink. You know, that's a long story and why I don't, but... Uh, then what happened? Oh, I remember on the way, like, we managed to get to his house. We managed to get her into my car. She's still, like, passed out. 
Like, I don't even know if she's alive, because I'm just not used to seeing people like that. We get on our way to the apartment, or the Airbnb, I'm thinking, well, there's only one bed, so there's no way she's sleeping in the bed smelling like throw up. And so, what am I supposed to do? Like, I gotta clean her up somehow, but she's wearing a dress, and it's all in her hair, all in the dress, and I barely know her. Mm-hmm. What am I, I can't change her, you know? What am I supposed to give her a bath? That would have been super awkward. Like, what am I supposed to do? Well, I was he just freaking sit, out. He 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 was just sitting in the corner, and I he took a bath. A bath yeah, she by myself. Finally woke I, up and threw up some more and took a shower. Yep. After that, I'm Thank sober. Goodness. Yeah. She didn't say anything to me. She just went. Hey, I did. No say, sorry. I did say. No. I keep saying sorry. Sabi ko sorry, that was, Parker. That, I keep no, saying sorry. That was when you woke up. No. After in the morning. No. I, I keep saying sorry. I don't remember it. I don't remember it. Basta, I remember it. I no, keep saying you're sorry. You're drunk. You don't remember anything. I, I'm, I'm drunk, but I'm, I don't have amnesia. <laughs> so, yeah. Anyway, she went to bed, and I'm sitting in this chair, mm -hmm. and I'm debating and just leaving her there. I was so pit. I'm a pretty nice guy, and I'm pretty chill. I don't, you know, things don't bother me very easily. But I was so pissed at what just happened. I was debating for a couple hours of just packing my stuff, getting my car, and leaving. Just leaving her in the Airbnb. Her friend's got money, she's got money, she can buy a ticket home and someone can pick her up. She would have been fine. That was. What? What? I was so close, I had my stuff packed. But I keep saying sorry. That's why you didn't, you didn't leave me You went me straight there. to bed. I don't remember you saying sorry at I all. did, I did. When you woke up in the morning, you did, but not before you I did say sorry. Because I asked him, if I, he said he was so mad. And then I said, I keep saying sorry. That to was him. in the morning. No, that wasn't. Yeah. Stop. Stop arguing with <laughs> me. Just say it. Well, yeah. The next that? morning, I wake up early, like 7, I think. I thought she was going to be hung over. Uh -huh. I was like, what the freak is going on? And I was, I'm still pissed, by the mm -hmm. way. But luckily I'm such a good communicator and I forgive and you're forget. Not, you're not a good communicator. I'm a great what communicator. What do you mean? What are you talking First about? time. You weren't. That's why we keep on fighting almost every day. That's later. So, yeah. I woke up early in the morning, 7. And I asked him if we can go to 8 on some restaurant. And then we went to Hollywood. Then I went to Universal Studio. Then after that, muy na kami. We went back to Utah. And after, what happened? Can't remember. See, I go into detail of the story, so it's gonna be like an hour long. Well, after that, we went back to Utah, and we still keep on talking and like having small dates here and there. Yeah, then he dinner. decided. Yeah. Then he decided to go to to move to Indiana for his summer work. Doing summer sales. Mm -hmm. So what happened was we didn't really have like official relationship. So we'd be hiking, and some mm -hmm. of the guys would call her. She'd be like, "Wait a second, I gotta take this." Hey, like, that was walk people. off, and <laughs> I still remember his name too. Baby. What? That was after you went to Indiana. Really? Yep. So even after? No, that wasn't after. Because after I came back, that's when we made it official. After you came back, <laughs> after you came back, way, baby. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Next. Okay. <laughs> so he was in Indiana for two months. So on that two months, na time frame we were still talking calling each other in uh facetime tapos but we always argue almost every day because because of what i don't know everything I can't, uh i can't really remember but it's just small stuff you would get mad at something and mm. not answer me or not talk to me mm. which i hate i like to talk things out because I'm not she would really, ignore me. I'm not really a talker. So that would make me mad, and so I get upset, and it just escalates the situation. Mm -hmm. And then we decided not to talk anymore to each other, but after 30 minutes, 
we can't really help it. And I don't really understand again. like moody people at that point. Like I never dealt with somebody who was like. And I couldn't tell if she was kidding or not over text. That's why I didn't like texting mm -hmm. or messaging. I thought it was stupid. Because she would try meaning this, and I misunderstood it. Uh, it was a mess for a while. Yeah. And when I was out in Indiana, that we thought that was the last time we were going to see each other because you were going to leave mm -hmm. back to the Philippines. Mm -hmm, that's true. Your work, work permit was going to expire. And we didn't really know that we were going to work out because we just... Had because between dates. that LA trip and before I left for the summer, we dated for what three months? Um, from March, April, May to April. You? No, we didn't. We dated for like less than a month. No. Yeah, because you left April in Indiana and you came back May, so just one month. So you left June, so that's three months. Anyways, we're dating like more seriously for a month. And then she's gonna leave back to the Philippines. How are we supposed to know, like, if it's gonna work out? Right. So, you, want, you guys want to see some pictures with some writing on the back that she gave me? Well, do you still have that? Yeah, I do. Binigya ko siya before he went to Indiana. I gave him like photos <laughs> of us and like some writings at the back. What do the writings say on the back? Ah, uh, cigarette. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. <laughs> <laughs> They're sweet. Because I'm a sweet person. Mm hmm. Straight out. So, yeah. Ayun, after Indiana, I came back. you came back. Came back for After a left. month. Mm -hmm. So, May na yon. He came back May 11th, May 10th. He came Somewhere back May there. 10th. Then, he was, we are planning to like meet on May 11th. Um, he bought a roses, a uh, bouquet of roses. Because we were pretty much broken up at this point. Mm -hmm. So I was going to come back and surprise her with roses and kind of win her back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so that he, didn't bought, go as <laughs> he bought a bu uh, bouquet of roses for me. And I totally forgot it was Mother's Day. Yeah, or like Mother's Day Mother's weekend Day. or something. And the so flowers were sitting on the counter. Yeah, he put it in a counter of his parents' house. So his mom thought it was for her because it's Mother's <laughs> Day. <laughs> and then he, went, he texted me. He was like, oh, my mom thought it was Mother's Day. So she thought it was yeah. her flowers. It's like the thought that counts. For her. Let's meet yeah. up. And she wouldn't meet with me. Yeah. I did all that. She still wouldn't meet with me. Well, because I think I have something to do on that day. Maybe. Yeah. I think I have something to do on that day. That's why we didn't meet. And then... For after a few days we met. Did we meet? Yeah. After a few days. I can't remember what we did for the rest of the time. Mm -hmm. We just went on little dates again. Yeah, little dates. Then we went camping. I remember the time we went up. I drove up Hiking. to the mountain. Remember that? We drove up to the mountain. Oh, that was you were. That was June already. So it was close to when you were gonna leave, huh? Yeah, it was close because I'm. So we were official. I, I was leaving. We made I, it official. Yeah, we made it official, and uh, I was gonna leave. Utah in 25th of June, so it's already like first week of June. It's your friend's wedding. So after we attended his fr friend's wedding, we went to to drive up the mountain. We just went for a drive. Ended up finding a spot, and I was so sweet. It was so sweet. We danced like crazy people. <laughs> <laughs> And then after that went to oh, after that we went back to LA again. Yeah, we went fast right. forward. That was. Well, why we go back to LA? Cause I'm leaving, and uh, the port of exit is in LA. So, so we drove to we LA. Went, yeah, to we drove back to LA. Spent, we were there for what a week. Yep, we spent went a to couple days in Vegas. Two days, three days, I think two days or three days in Vegas, and then the rest is in LA. Spend more time to each other. Yeah. And then, yeah, I went back to the Philippines. Seven months. That's when the long distance started. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the really long distance. It was hard at first. Well, here's the thing. Before I even met Jen, a buddy of mine and I already had plans to go to the Philippines in October of that year, 2018. 
before me and Jen. Well, I met Jen, but we weren't dating yet when I made those plans. So we talked about it and we said, you know what, let's give the long distance a try for three months. So that's, you know, beginning of July to the end of October. And if it doesn't work out in three months, we'll figure it out once I get there. So it was our trial run for three months. Yeah. So he went there October 5 until October 22nd of 2018. Like three so three weeks basically. It's a long time in the Philippines. Yeah. He it was did. fun. It was fun. But he got sick. I always get sick when I go to the Philippines. Every mm, time. Because of change of weather. Maybe. Yeah. So Ayun, we went and sightseeing. We went to Palawan, Karun Palawan, Baguio, and to my province. Then back to Manila. And then he went back to... Went back to the States. States. Continue working. And mm. then how long were we long distance? So after that, that was October, we've been long distance again for another seven months. Or seven months? Seven months after October. So we've been long distance for another seven months. So a total of like 10 months in total that we are long distance or 11, almost 12. Almost Ten 12 months. months. 10 months? Yeah. Yeah. So we've been long distance for 10 months and it was hard at first but eventually it was just kind of just what it was i mean it wasn't really that bad it was hard when i got back to the philippines and then after he came visit on october it was like it the time passed by so easily it was quick Three weeks we, didn't, we didn't we didn't really realize it was like 10 months that we were in you know, long distance yeah. It feels Time like it's just quick. days or weeks. Yeah. We had to figure a lot of things out. Mm -hmm. You know, we had trust issues a lot. Yeah. Not really like if we were messing with other people. But we got over that and eventually we learned that for any of those who are in a long distance relationship right now, you got to learn between the both of you that uh, if you guys truly love each other and that's a real thing and you know that for a fact you don't have to question it then you're willing to do whatever it takes mm -hmm. if it takes a year two three four five years it's going to be worth it that's what you guys need to understand and that's just how you got to live it and once we understood that it really wasn't a problem being long distance you know we can still facetime every day text each other every day that's the good thing about technology today yeah it's easy it's easy to connect to with connect, them. connect, yeah. You, know, you can't see them physically, which kind of sucks from time to time. But honestly, you know you truly love them, and if there is going to be an end, then there's no need to worry. There's no need to have trust issues yeah. unless they give you it. If it is gen genuine. Genuine, yeah. Genuine relationship. You don't have to worry. Nope. It takes work, though. It mm -hmm. took us a while to get there. Mm-hmm. Right. We both had our issues. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So after that, it was already May of 2019. So that's what? May to May? So that was a, a year between we saw each other? No. No, October to... October to May. So it's like seven months. Seven months. So it's ten months. Mm -hmm. Went back in May. That's when I proposed. Yeah, he proposed on our anniversary. Oh, Both we. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did propose on our anniversary. I had a big old plan to surprise her, but I spoiled it, and so we did something else. Mm. There's a video. Yeah. It will be here or here on that side. I don't know. So... What did we do? On our anniversary? Mm -hmm. When I came to the Philippines for the second time. Yeah, he did came to the Philippines for a second time on our... Like, the night after our anniversary. Or like, few hours. He landed no, I got after a few hours. May the night of our anniversary. Uh -huh. But yeah. because it's gonna, it's like eleven forty-five, I think, when when you landed mm -hmm. in the airport. Late. So we came back to our hotel room, and I made like cute ones with like <laughs> saying "Happy anniversary, Happy love." Anniversary. And then there's like balloons with our photos, and then a, a cake. cake. And my gift for him. What did I give you? Uh, my shoes. It's a basketball it's shoes. It's basketball shoes. Yeah. Some really nice ones. Yeah. So I surprised him with that. 
And he was surprised. <laughs> he surprised her with come. the ring. But I was surprised because she doesn't mm-hmm. spend money, and those basketball shoes weren't cheap. Mm-hmm. So I was like, "What? You spend this much money on shoes?" But like Akko guys. So I spend more money. So yeah, after noon, uh, he was he was like, "Close your eyes," because he made gift din dosha sa akin. But it wasn't really your plan, huh? No. That you propose. It wasn't his plan to propose on our anniversary. He was planning the. Oh, you plan to propose on our anniversary mm-hmm. day, but not like the midnight time. Yeah, it, it didn't was work out. After, the flight. yeah, because he was planning long. to propose in the Ferris wheel Samoa. <laughs> or something else. I didn't yeah, really know. That was that was. What well, I was gonna surprise you at your door. Remember. Yeah, but that was your you. But then tummy. after that, I was like, oh, I was probably gonna do it on the Ferris wheel. Mm-hmm. I suck at planning things. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to make it all cute, you know. Yeah. But I just did it right there in the hotel room. Mm-hmm. She made it all sweet and cute. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> and it worked out. It's a memory. That's what's important. It was, it was unforgettable memory. Oh. <laughs> and then what we do? When I, how long was I there for? Two weeks? Two and a half weeks? No, you. Three weeks? You were there for ten days. No, it was way longer ten than ten days. days. Way May eleventh. May tenth of the night, almost eleventh. Then you got back here uh, May twentieth. So ten days. Nine days. Ten it's days. fifteen days. Nine days. Ten days. Nine or ten days, something like that. Whatever. Anyways. So, ayun, bumalik ulit siya ng US. Long distance ulit kami. That's when we filed our K-1 visa for fiancé. We got lucky. It was fast. Yeah. We got lucky, guys, because usually yung pagpa-file ng K-1 visa, it will took like six to eight months, but we got approved after two months. So... We were lucky. It was so fast. It was so fast. How long were we were long distance after that? We were so long distance. Ten months distance plus, plus another eight months. Um, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Seven months. So seventeen months. Seventeen long months distance. or a year and a half. Almost a year and a half. We're long yeah. distance. We've been long distance for a year and a half. It's a long time. Mm-hmm. So ayun tapos kinasal na kami. Hindi na kami. We're already married. Aww. Yeah, ayun lang guys. It's hard because there's so mm-hmm. many other things we can talk about, but it, this video would be like an hour long. Yeah. So ayun, kinasal kami. Uh, I got here December 12, 2019. Tapos kinasal kami na January 25, 2020. Then... Just know there were their challenges. Mm-hmm. There were so many challenges we had to go over. Mm-hmm. Hindi, so hindi, many. It's not easy, guys. Even when she got here. Yeah. It was ridiculous. It was one thing after another. Mm-hmm. And it made us doubt. Like, is this going to be done? Are we going to be able to do this? And yeah. What I always tell you. God, we will get through this. Oh, I did that. I did tell you that. No, I told you. If there's a will, there's a way. Stuff but, like that. I told but her. I ha- yeah. We'll always make it happen. Mm-hmm. Even if it's hard, guys. <laughs> whenever, whenever she complains here, I tell her. Remember what you said in the Philippines? How all you want, you don't care how hard it is, as long as we're together. Yeah. It's just a complaint anymore. It's not, it's not that easy. But as long as we are together, you can make it. It's worth it. It's really not that bad in hindsight. It's quick. It goes by mm-hmm. fast. Yeah, it's so quick. I mean, we've known each other for three years now. <coughs> yeah. Coronavirus! Hi, <laughs> <laughs> well, guys. Tapos na. Story time. Yun yung story namin. Sana nagustuhan nyo. Magtagalog ka nga. Bakit? Siguro kaya mo makasya sa isang video. Oo, oh, kaya ko yan. Depende. Mag- Ikaw na mag-outro. Do the outro. I don't know the outro. Thank you so much for watching. Magpapatsalamat ako para sa ba... I forgot. Uh, Pag-review nyo. Why am I doing this? <laughs> pa... To watch. What is that? How do you say that? For watching. Salamat sa panonood. Sa panonood nyo. 
sa aming wag, dalawa. Mm-hmm. Wag mong kalimutan. Kwento namin. Mm-hmm. Pag gusto niyo panoorin, please subscribe <laughs> and like. <laughs> Ayun na guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't And ring the bell so you Don't see. Don't forget. Huwag <laughs> kang, uh, wait, wait. Huwag kang malimutan mag-subscribe. Tama ba? Don't forget, yeah. Kalimutan, don't forget. Kalimutan, huwag kang kalimutan. Ha? Para makita nyo ang poging mukha ko ulit. Oh! Sa susunod na panoorin. Magandang gabi, bayan!